Good morning, guys. Today we will again take a look at uh, the Java mocking framework, JMocket. Um, in today's example, we will uh, see how to mock an exception to test an exception scenario um, using JMocket. So this um, use case for this could be say that you work with the third party service and the third party service can actually throw a remote exception to you or an, any specific exception to you and uh, your code is supposed to handle that exception and take some decision based on uh, what kind of exception that you received say call another third party suppose that you are you are implementing a payment service and if you the one payment gateway fail if you want to go to another payment gateway so that kind of situation actually you can simulate exception using jmocket so i will walk you through how that can be done easily using jmocket so let's test uh, let's start writing a test class say um, payment test payment manager right test payment manager test payment manager of course will uh, test the payment manager so payment All right. And since the payment manager doesn't exist, let's create the payment manager in the main. All right. So we are going to test the payment manager, and let's get this initialized using the tested annotation. Jmocket has provided a very simple tested annotation to initialize um, the the class under test. All right, now let's move forward and test it. Public void should not, should not make a payment, right? Because we are going to test an exception scenario. So in this case, we are, should, we are not supposed to make a payment, All right? So pay, say, for the example, say, it's a put 100 integer over there. So this no, method is not implemented, so please implement the method using the Eclipse Art or Eclipse Code completion capability. Let's change this to Boolean, right? So this particular, let's return false for now. Return false, right? So imagine that this particular payment manager actually use a third party payment service and this particular test code is supposed to simulate an exception from the third party payment service. So this payment manager actually interacting with say private uh, for now for this example we will name him third party payment service right create a third party payment service you know create an interface for now because we are not giving an implementation for this guy right so this has got a boolean pay and amount say amount right so this can actually throw us a remote exception just keep it as a remote exception now or we create a business exception say exception new class uh, payment failed exception right which uh, extends exception let's see PTO right. Right. it's good enough for this example right the body payment service can throw 
so uh, payment exception so this is the api that you know we have to do third party payment so it can actually throw a payment field exception that that we now created right so this particular method now is supposed to use third party payment service to make the payment for us right now this can retain based on this can retain a now what we are trying to simulate is in the test case this third party payment service can potentially throw an exception to us so first initialize so in this first initial let's create this test method right unit so the test is failed because the test is failed because the payment third party payment service is not initialized right let's initialize that private third party So the JMOC it has got an interesting annotation injectable that you can use to wire in the mock, mock dependencies into the class under test. So this will make sure that the third party payment service one step one one mocked instance of the third party payment service is wired into the payment service, right? Now the null point exception should go away now. So but uh, what is that? We are expecting we are expecting a exception payment exception when uh, we make the payment so that this test is necessary for us to handle this exception and then making sure that we are actually going out to make the payment using a second third party service right so payment failed exception but you know that exception we were expecting but we haven't got the exception the reason why the reason why the payment manager is is just calling the payment the mock payment service and the mock payment service is not aware of the fact that it is supposed to it is supposed to fire an exception back to its client so create a new expectation expectations right the expectations you can say okay when uh, somebody call payment service dot pay of or say any integer any int right any int then uh, result is new payment failed exception right and we can actually say that this uh, we are expecting this method to be invoked once right let's run this test case now so the test case now passed basically what it says is that when i make a call to third party payment service via the payment manager payment manager is the class under test the third party payment service is supposed to fire an exception back to me so that you know in the real code based upon this exception you would have a, you would have a, the client or the payment manager actually will write separate code to handle that exception and uh, use another third party service to service to make the payment so this is useful this is useful in many situations where where um, you do not know you have no you know control on 
on the second party code or the third party code to 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 create an exception right uh, using the real data so this jmock it you know mocking exception will be very helpful for you to work in work and simulate and test those situation thank you very much for watching the video and the next session that i will certainly share how to mock exception using Mokito instead of JMokit. Mokito is another testing framework that we have in the Java world. Thank you very much for watching.